this is Hashim Whitmore be the world's greatest barber.com. Thank you for tuning in. This is a special video going out to Javier Alvarez, one of my Instagram followers that recently um, checked out one of my posts about, and it was 20 positive affirmations. And he had, he posted a question that saying like, yo, how does this work? So uh, this is how it works. I'll give a, uh, how affirmation works and why is it important. And some examples that you're probably already seeing people that experience a lot of success are already doing. So Javier, this is how affirmation works, right? Everybody that you come in contact with, you know, and especially like I had 13 years of like professionally talking to men day in and day out. People are their affirmations. And what are the affirmations? Or what is an affirmation? Affirmation is nothing but a statement of belief in who people say that they are, right? So if somebody says, you know what, I'm no good at math, they're not good at math. Uh, they said, if, some, if a guy says, man, I, these, these uh, chicks out here just can't be trusted. You know, I don't, I don't trust not a nam female, right? Then that's, what, that's his reality. Every chick that he runs across will, you know, is somebody that he can't be, he can't be trusted. Or if they say, you know, I'm too stupid to, uh, to achieve this, or I'm too fat, or I'm too lazy, or I'm too busy, whatever you, those eyes are, those are what you'll live out. That's the reality that you'll live in, and that's the reality that you'll create. All right. Muhammad Ali says something uh, really important in one of the quotes. And I, I think I have it posted up. Uh, he said, I said I was the greatest before I even uh, knew that I was. All right. And you'll see uh, rappers all the time uh, saying different affirmations. You know, I'm the greatest rapper alive. Um, I'm a businessman. I'm a, I'm a hustler. I'm a this. I'm a this. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Because when you start saying, I am, I am a loving individual. I am a great father. I am a, a great barber. I am a great person. I am present. I am focused. I am, uh, I, I am able to do what I believe that I can do. Or I, I am able to do what I said I can do. Those I am's become your reality. So affirmation is nothing but your I am statements. Why do you need those I am statements is equally important because in throughout life people have given you their opinions of who you are, what you can do, what your abilities are and a lot of times we adopt those, sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously. Sometimes we don't even realize that we have adopted somebody else's opinion of ourselves until we're faced in a situation or we're put in that uh, situation where we need to step out and go for something. Maybe get some girl's number or maybe make a call to uh, a certain job or opportunity or to move to a new city to take on a new dream. Sometimes we don't realize that we have adopted somebody else's I am perspective of us, their opinion of us, until we have to get tested. And then we have to go through a whole nother process of building ourselves up, right? You know, uh, my brother uh, Les Brown said, don't let anybody's opinion of you become your reality. So you choose what your reality is. Now those 20 affirmations and that I gave, those are just a starting point. But it will, it will be on you to put those I am statements on your mirror when you wake up in the morning, in your journal when you write down in the morning, I am able to do what I said I can do. I am able to be the greatest person that I can be. Nobody's gonna outdo you at being you, Javier, you know, but you build up yourself and you program. Now all this is about programming, is programming yourself for success. You know, when you get those negative I am's out your way, 
when you stop when you stop saying I'm not smart enough I'm not able to get up early enough to make a change I'm not uh, able to focus or I'm not able to calm down my mind when you get those out the way and you replace those with positive things and when you start seeing those uh, things come true you'll know that all that time that you spent and you said these statements and I won't say that it's easy at first Sometimes it'll feel like you're just imagining, playing, you're just practicing a, a feeling, a focus point. Because a lot of times that's what you'll do when you first start off. You, when you start saying, you know what, I am great at relationships. I am uh, a, a great parent. I'm a great friend. I am a great, uh, I'm great at math. Now at first that might be hard to adopt it might feel like you're trying to force something into like a, a square peg into a round hole but trust me in time whatever you practice you perfect if you perfect an emotion of uh, of believing you'll eventually get into a habit of doing things your habits start becoming actions and those actions start becoming uh, outwardly visible inwardly physical and then you're able to do more and more and you start living those affirmations that you set forth my brother so I encourage you to use those just as a starting point but develop your own statements which you can aspire to which you can find true and what do you feel you know if you say hey I am uh, the greatest talk show host that has ever been. I'm the biggest YouTube star that has ever uh, been on YouTube. I am the greatest blogger. I'm the um, greatest developer of whatever that you, your dreams or your focus takes you. Know that in time, if you practice that feeling, that feeling will become a recognized vibration and a focal point and reality will start shifting around the words that you say and the, the power that you have inside of you will start being able to be visible to everybody. Hey, this is Hashim Whitmore. Be the world's greatest barber. Be the world's greatest person. Be the world's greatest you. And I love you. Please comment, questions, email, subscribe. Tell somebody about it because I'm dropping a whole bunch of good stuff for you because I love y'all. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon.